So this area in um, in Red, what is it, Red Main Castle? Yeah, Red Main Castle. You normally enter from over there, and you'll be fighting a beast man, and then eventually a heavily armored warrior will spawn um, as a boss fight. At about the time that you get the beast man uh, down to do your first critical hit just by hitting with heavy attacks, the heavy armored guy will spawn. And when the beast man is down from the critical hit, you can actually run over here and jump on this crate. And then you can do a, a running jump to this barrel, at which point, if you're careful, I just stood here and, and shielded, you can get both of the characters, uh, both the bosses, to jump up onto these barrels with you because most of the characters in Elden Ring will jump significantly higher than you to pursue you. Um, and then once they're both up here s safely, which is really hectic, basically you just want to slip into this hole. Um, while you're in this hole, as long as they're above you, it's highly unlikely that the warrior is going to hit you. And the beast man can only hit you with certain dropping attacks, which don't do that much damage. Um, the goal is that eventually the heavily armored warrior will squeeze in between these barrels, but he doesn't fit, so he'll be stuck falling. And eventually, because he falls for so long, the game just auto-kills him. Um, after that point, you can equip um, something like a, a pike or a spear. I used a halberd. And then you can start whittling away at the beast man's health because you're stuck down here. So usually the jumping light attack with this move would strike him. And then you just heal from time to time because he, he will hit you with a couple attacks. Uh, then once they're dead, you know, you get your souls, you get your, your gear. And then you can just warp to chamber outside of plaza and just walk back in and, and collect the grace. Um... I couldn't find any good way to deal with the warrior, so I just kind of sat there and, and tried to cheese. Uh, another strategy, if you find that uh, too difficult, is you can jump on top of um, this platform, and there's if, if you stay around here, they'll try to attack you rather than jumping up. And then once one of them finally actually jumps up, um, you can try to sit down here and shield. Um, and if the warrior or the beast man jump down here, you can squeeze through this spot, but they can't, but only during their standing or running animation. The, they, they can squeeze through sometimes during attack animations, but if you can get them to fall down there and then you immediately leave, uh, they'll basically just be out of the fight. There's really no way for them to recover unless you jump back onto that platform and try to use it, at which point they'll properly jump and path. Um, they can make the fight easier if you're not getting one of them down soon enough. Um, it's, it's really better if the warrior's stuck there, because the warrior is, is harder to deal with. Um, but, uh, ultimately I found it was easier to just cheese it by jumping between those, those barrels. Um, there's also another spot that you can get softlocked, um, in this area. Y you can get softlocked, um, over here. Um, in that corner. There's nothing useful about it though, uh, as far as I've seen, because the warrior will still hit you um, through... He'll try to hit you through the wall and he'll be able to do it with his magic attack. And It just doesn't, doesn't provide any real advantage other than being very painfully stuck in a corner. So uh, yeah, those are some spots you can exploit for uh, the beast man and an and armored knight fight in the in the red main castle um, really the best part is is that since you're not really fighting uh, theoretically you could manage this at level one though it would take some good luck with the beast man's jump attacks really you want some vitality or some armor just to be able to be hit a few times um, so I thought that, I thought it was pretty cool so I just wanted to share it